हेलो एवरी वन सो वेलकम टू वीडियो वन ऑफ अवर हंड्रेड वीडियो चैलेंज दिस इज योर होस्ट और मकानज दून आइडियो सर्विस एज वी ऑल नो दैट टू नाइट इज द लास्ट नाइट ऑफ ट्वेंटी थाउट दैट टू थाउजेंड वु ट्वेंटी थ्री ईयर्स ओल्ड टूडे इट स्टिल साउंड एज स्टेप इन टू अव ईयर I want to have open and crucial discussion with you all regarding the mental health issues in our AI driven media industry or let's say AI driven industry so for the past couple of years AI has sort of completely taken over our professions there is not a single work which can be done without the help of an AI or any basic task you name it be it coding be it designing be it editing be it generating scripts you have chat gpt you have in video you have uh, 11 labs for voice overs you have well set for voice overs and literally you can clone any person's voice in that and slowly it's becoming terrifying to be very honest the day is not far behind when this entire world is taken over by ai and today i want to talk to you openly what and how is this impacting me and is impacting you so let's start off with how i feel about ai taking over our industry so for the past couple of years i have heard people say and i'm sure that you must have also met a lot of these people who seem to think that ai has sort of taken over their work and believe you me they are not wrong ai has taken over their work it is sad to say and understand that these people who are saying that ai has taken over their work are those people who have no clue about their lives and if you are saying that ai has taken over your work believe you me it has not yes it has made the industry far too difficult yes it has made the works faster than a normal human person yes it has created a broad range of skills for you to expand it is there to help you out and for the past couple of years i had the same impression that what i am going to do in the field of an ai because whatever i can do it can do so much faster not better faster and ai can never be better than a human being why because we are the one who created it we say it is an artificial intelligence but it's just a program it can only do certain things so there was a phase that i believe there is no room for me anymore in this entire media industry because to be honest i didn't had the necessary skill sets i am not that much of a great editor which i thought i was slowly way progressing i thought that my job is on the line you know what i did instead of running away from it i thought why not embrace it because for a long time i was under the impression what am i going to do about it how will i face it i also took a break from my field because to be honest i felt insecure and you might be wondering wow dark kermakan dark but that's the truth and to be very honest i never knew that this is how we would be doing things but ai has helped me a lot as well there are multiple things that you know can be done much faster with ai let's talk about video editing there are multiple things that i couldn't perform very well meeting making cuts like sorting out music making cuts in music shortening it down trimming its length you know to fit a 5 minutes or 10 minutes timeline because when i found a music it was just one or two minutes long i had to manually go through and jump through it blah 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 blah, blah. with the advancement of ai and adobe doing its magic these linear tasks become cup of tea for everyone even a new editor can you know say that i can do it i can do everything same goes for designers with the advancement in the generative way i feel when i first used it my mind was like what the fuck how was you immediately amazed now you almost you went thing where the sensation has diverted from mental health to ai and what am i even trying to say so what 
I want to convey to you is that with this new year, with the advent of 2024, don't let AI stop you from doing what you want to do. Because for a very long time, I let it stop me. And you are not alone. There are hundreds of examples of people falling victim to depression, anxiety, any mental health issue that you name off. And in our current era, this is the major issue that we are facing. Because after I say this, some of you might come towards my throat, but we are weak. Our ancestors, they were strong people. And you know how the quote goes. Strong men get soft pants. Soft pants generate weak men. And weak men, in turn, create hard times. And hard times generate strong men. So our ancestors, they were the strong men. They generated the weak times for us. And weak times are creating weak men. And right now, the time we are in the or the time that has been passed down to us is the most difficult time because we are the last generation who has seen the transition transitioning from a radio to a smartphone i believe you are watching me from one but yeah we diverted from our topic so mental health what are you doing about it and i know being part of this era we don't hold that privilege to talk about it openly we should but we don't because society does not accept weak people i agree with society who wants weak people what's the solution i may push some of your burdens but suck it up because no one will for you and i don't want to sound rude or anything but there's no other option there's no other solution only you can help yourself no one else can you might be saying, Arman, this was supposed to be a helping video. What are you doing? Believe you me, the best advice or the best help someone can give you is to let you fight your own battles. Yes, we can be there to support you. We can be there to help boost your morale. But we cannot fight your battles for you. No one can and no one will. So buckle up because this year is going to be a lot harder. Why? Because you are going to make it harder for yourself why are you going to make it harder for yourself because hard times create strong man okay and last of all though we cannot fight each other's battles but the battle experiences each of us has can help someone in fighting their battle so i request you do share your experiences in the comment and let me know how you got out of your situation and maybe it will help someone out till then Happy New Year. Peace out.